I'm shocked. I am really, really, really shocked. Hello, guys. It's, it's Rorschach here. Um, Freedom Fight is issue number one there. Now, I expected this book to be bad. I just didn't expect it to be so stupid. Um, maybe it's because I've been reading uh, that Fox Day Detective comic book. Um, the dialogue in there has been that's convincingly human in a manner which it never ever happens in the pages of freedom fighters the people talk but you can't actually imagine real people talking like that it's it's very childish it reminds me of old war comics that i used to read when i was about 10 years old uh comics like commando where the the bats the uh the, uh, the bad guy nazis would be unrelentingly evil in a two-dimensional fashion which doesn't really translate into anything approaching real human beings. There's there's no story in this book. The story is the, the Nazis won World War II. They took over America. And they're very, very evil <laughs> because they're Nazis. I bet you didn't know that, did you? Apparently the, the Nazis are evil. Right? So the Nazis are evil and we have to have the resistance kicking ratsy ass. They call them ratsies here. See, ratsy. They're going to kick ratsy ass uh, ass ass and take America back again. I, I don't get this. Since when did the left get so patriotic? <laughs> There's a moment when they're saluting the flag here, right? And I just don't see this from the modern left being so patriotic about the United States of America. They don't even believe in America anymore. They want open border policy because the uh, indigenous people of America, and when I say indigenous, I mean the people who who made America what it is today, are, well, they're not voting for the left anymore, so they have to be replaced by by people who will vote for the Democratic Party. So it's not about saluting the flag of America, it's about getting rid of the people who won't vote for your, your team and replacing them by, well, Mexicans and people from, um, from the South, from countries suffering under dictatorial reigns and um, drug gang syndicates. <laughs> America is not going to be America if the left gets its way. To, so to see them position themselves as as patriots in the pages of Combok just comes across as a deeply insincere. <laughs> okay, I'll try to compose myself and get through the story. There, there isn't much of a story. And some of the art is really good, but just the, the writing by Robert Venditti, I don't know what he's doing. He was on Green Lantern with Ethan Van Sky. I think that's a pretty decent book, but this, this book is just, it's so stupid. There's nothing going on apart from Nazis are bad, we need to get rid of the Nazis. So this is America in the 1960s. Someone's defacing a poster of the, the Fuhrer. And here are our good guys. The guy in the middle is Jesse Owens. Yeah, that Jesse Owens. The Olympic 100 metre champion, Jesse Owens. He's the leader of the, of the resistance. I didn't, know, I didn't know that he got involved in politics in the, in the real world. Uh, I thought it was just an athlete, but obviously they, he's got the right qualifications, hasn't he, to be a hero um, of the left. So he's going to be um, fighting for the future of America, and that's the, the future, the, the young ladies with short haircuts and their allies on Twitter. <sighs> you can do it, Jesse, you can do it. Oh, man. But immediately it's... It's, it's pretty stupid. Um... So the the choices that are made for the ethnicities of, of the of the heroes is very noticeable and very predictable. Here come the evil Nazis. Here comes Richard Spencer and his mates. Um, the plastic men and the art's really nice there, isn't it? And the idea then of the plastic men with a double S. That's that's a good idea. But the story, the narrative itself is it's so. A fallow. There's there's nothing there, you know. It's it's not even puddle deep. So the, the brave resistors are having a meeting, and here come the evil Nazis, right? And look how the the Nazis describe um, their opponents. They call them the resistance and freedom fighters. <laughs> 
do, do the Americans in um, Afghanistan call the Taliban the resistance and the freedom fighters? I, I think they call them the terrorists, aren't they? Uh, is it the number one uh, um, lesson of modern propaganda? Like you have to demonise your enemy. Why would you call your enemy the freedom fighters, the people who love freedom? <laughs> You would never ever do that. So it comes across as really, really quite stupid. So the evil Nazis, um, they, they burn the superheroes at the stake and then they, they put it on television. Every network will play the execution ceremony on continuous repeat for the next seven days. Yeah, that's how you get the people on side, isn't it? You show them that you're unre unrelentingly, um, totally evil, um, then the population will, will naturally, um, yeah, be on your side. This is America, remember. The population would still have all their guns. Um, they would not put up with a, a Nazi regime because they'd be resisting all over the country. This is the 1960s still. Uh, can you imagine the uh, resistance in America in the 1960s um, for all over America against a, a Nazi regime? So can you imagine them doing this, putting an execution ceremony on, on television? No, it just piss people off completely wouldn't it and yeah it's just it doesn't make any sense if you if you think about it <laughs> do this um hitler is punishing the long-standing offenses of 1936 olympics games sentencing jesse owens uh, to hard labor uh, is that it hard labor <laughs> you wouldn't do that to him so jesse owens gets hard labor and the, and the, the super the superheroes get get that <laughs> okay Look at this dialogue. You won one last piece of apple pie. Wouldn't it be nice if the left was so patriotic in, in the real world? Now, they only get to be patriotic in a fictional world of 1960s America where the, the Nazis are, have taken over. And look how they're portrayed as sinister, malevolent and evil. And look how they talk as well. They're talking about the freedom fighters captured. You don't call people who you would no doubt describe as terrorists, freedom fighters. It's it's two-dimensional villainy. Yeah, it, it probably is um, because I've been reading um, some you know, Fox Day stuff. Just that, the, the characterizations here, the you know, characterizations are here, just come across as really, really shallow and not convincingly human. <laughs> this is the, a lefty's idea of evil. It's not resonant with real life evil at all um i do a spoiler at the end of the book but it's not really spoiling much because not a lot is going on we get the one fingered antifa salute and uh, there's the the good guys god damn it what a what a state and they're, they're blowing up some, some nazis at the end and we got some sentinel ripoff um, so he's going to exterminate our, our good guys, which is obviously not going to happen because if the good guys get exterminated at the beginning of issue number two, well, what happens in the next uh, next ten issues? Uh, not a very good story. There's nothing here. There, there really is is nothing here at all. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised that someone like Robert Van Ditty that he produced something of such inferior standard you know if this was a a new young lefty writer who was hired just for diversity reasons you know i, I could understand it that this person hasn't been you know, um, invited into the, the the comic book world because you know they've got a resume of of you know great writing but because they yeah because they fit diversity requirements but someone like robert Fenditti, i'm surprised that he's put something um on on the uh comic book shelves that is as poor and ill thought out and just low IQ stupid as this and I do feel sorry for the artist because there's some good ideas here with, with the artwork which have been let down by a really really shallow story with unconvincing portrayals of, of human evil so really poor is Freedom Fighters number one and it's probably probably the worst comic book that I've read all year just because, just because it's, the, the stupidity factor is, is through the roof. It's through the roof. It really is. It's unbelievable. 
I can't believe that DC would publish something like this, something so bad that even SJW Marvel would, you know, would feel a bit guilty if they if they put this out. This is bad, really, really bad. Okay, if there's anyone out there who's read this comic book who thinks that I'm completely wrong in what I've just said and that this is some sort of great masterpiece which is um, resonant with the current times where Nazis are controlling America. Um, okay, yeah, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll be really, really interested in having a discussion about this with you and the state of current day America where... <laughs> the left certainly are not saluting the flag that's for sure so that's it for me for the time being thanks for checking out the video review please like and subscribe to the channel if you'd be so kind and hit the bell for instant updates you never know google tube might even um, send you <laughs> might even send you a notification that one of my videos is out i, I doubt it but you you never know they've got to at least pretend to be impartial haven't they so cheers Take care, everyone, and I'll be back as always later. Uh, see you guys. Goodbye.